Thanks. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Uh, Mike, um, we're bother talking us about the cornerstone what, exactly? of my platform. You'll I'm not know doing a U-turn just because Night Corp... No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V! Glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So, unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me of all people? Wouldn't you rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. <laughs> Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I... Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss, too. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? I couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Security looking at this? Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Doubt it. They'd have to be true gonks, or at least gonkily overconfident. Anyone else come to mind? Walden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. And the Poles do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. <laughs> we could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. 
I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? Hmm. Nope, that about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure Veal turns something up. So, you got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka... So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, huh, that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office. Control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. <laughs> Tight bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true, Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses. So, this is where we sleep. <laughs> Iron. This Jeff's? Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that... Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. Notice anything different in here after the break-in? No, I don't think so. What do you have in mind? Jeff said he passed out. Anything seem out of the ordinary, the bedding, its arrangement, any signs at all? As if he was dragged back to bed, you mean? No, I didn't notice anything. Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest.
welcome to go up to the roof if you want. I'll wait here. Sure thing. practically prehistoric but it doesn't look older than a day I saw something like this back in the war transmitters Militech was using them short-range UHF signal only travels line of sight but it can't be intercepted line of sight let's look around see if we can't spot where our receivers camping out Got a vision, the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. The hell is all this for? Fuck if I know. But my gut tells me we should see what this bad boy's hurt. See these cables? In the latest, trust this group on 
broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. What was that? No fucking clue. Felt kinda good, but weird. Like tripping on acid. Does that happen to the screen a lot? Or to any of the others? I don't understand. What just happened a second ago? You didn't see it? No? What? Blood... Okay, never mind. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. My den before the campaign, a place to focus, relax. Doesn't look it anymore. Security had to set up somewhere. One of the many small sacrifices I've had to make. This was the first, but it won't be the last. Looks like SSI's employees knew about the break-in. Fresh fruit. Tasty by the looks of it. They deliver it to us. It's included in the rent. Looks like it's been enhanced. What have we got here? Glutamine, noradrenaline, dopamine, serotonin. All neurotransmitters. Know anything about this? It's smart food. It's enhanced for improved mental performance. I don't know if it really works, but people believe it. Other than that, it isn't half bad. Fresh fruit for rotting vegetables. Bullet holes. Cocked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Assuming neither of you had anything to do with this. No, of course not. You and Jefferson, you've come a long way. To get from Haywood all the way here, it's no easy thing. 
Yes. If you aren't born with a silver shard, your chances are slim. And if you're born in Haywood, they're almost non-existent. Bye, Johnny. <laughs> 